Hello. I'm actually doing a, a kind of one of those days, so I'm just gonna have the skeleton up. I think this this stream here. But um, so tonight's though is I kind of want to do a couple of different things. Hopefully, I can get through this quickly. I have the um, Mary Marie's um, file that we, with um, the textures. Hey, adjective Beaver, how's it going? Um, I got this uh, texture uh, thingamajig, and it has all the like the. If you look closely here. Um, this has all the layers for everything. I don't know what that's, that's like a slight tint or something. Um, but we have, we have like this, um, Photoshop file that has all the different layers and stuff. So I was going to try and do a little bit more texture baking and get this, um, cause there's one, there's straps and stuff, leather, you can turn off the leather. Um, I don't know if. Sean wanted to just junk that entirely. Um, but anyway, so my plan was to just kind of bake that stuff onto, um, cause we needed kind of remapped to the, the other UV set. So that's kind of what I was going to do. Didn't do a little bit of that or most of that, I guess I was kind of hoping to go jump in into the animation stuff again as well. Doing well, working on a script for the wife. Gonna plot myself here. Cool, dude. Like a code script or a, like a movie script. Okay. C plus C sharp. She's C sharp. I can speak. Holy crap, <clears throat> man! It's been a rough week. Everything is on fire at work, so that's why I was unable to do my usual Tuesday stream, unfortunately. So, uh, but I make get a little bit of time in today, so that's good. She's working on a genealogy app in Unity, and I'm trying to help it along. That's cool. Is that like a side project of hers or is that like for a work thing? Her work thing, side project for me. Ah, oh, gotcha. That sounds cool. I'm kind of wondering if these are supposed to be crooked like that now, actually. This is kind of a chance to fix some issues with uh, how the texture was laying originally as well, I think. If there are any issues. Employer recently reduced me to part-time employee and I'm like, okay, cool. More time to do fun stuff. Yeah, that does <laughs> that doesn't sound like necessarily a bad thing. I guess depending on your financial situation, but uh Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing I, I can't complain about with my work, I guess, is like we've been we we've been pretty good throughout the thing. Um, there were some people that were let go at the beginning, but it was, as far as I understand, a small number. We lost a bunch of people, like, uh, like through them just finding other jobs and stuff, though. So that was, I think we took a bigger hit from that than, uh, Layoffs. Uh, 
Okay. The first time I did this, like, because it didn't matter how I laid stuff out so much. Like I was just trying to do the best I could. But now I'm, I'm kind of trying to match the original. Um, so it's a little bit harder, actually, now. I guess it, I don't have to do it 100% because we're going to have to do some stuff anyway, I think. I'm ready to move on and do other things. I'm just not sure what business software dev is dreadfully boring. Yeah. Uh, I feel you, man. I, I'm kind of in a similar situation where I'm... You know, I don't really, I'm not really super keen on uh, that kind of the stuff I'm doing lately. But it's like, it's a scary thing to jump out there. So, I don't know. Yeah, definitely. Especially with like everything going crazy these days as well. I'd like to be doing something with Unity. It scratches all kinds of creative itches. Yeah, like the my day job is like um, kind of more marketing 3D art stuff. Uh, so it's probably kind of similar to your, your um, situation, I guess. Like, since I've been, you know, helping out on this project, it's been, it's been harder to, like, you know, going back to work and stuff. Uh, it's been like, oh, man, could be doing cool, creative stuff. So... So, if we're really lucky, this will be a successful project. We were talking about that um, in Sean's stream a bit, I think. We, we chatted briefly on it as well at, in the Slack. Um, BDC Retro, how's it going, man? Would you join full time if they were able to start bringing in enough money to hire everyone? Uh, yes, I would. I would love to do that. I would love to work on. M and M full time. Uh, honestly, that's kind of my hope for the whole situation. I can't see behind the curtains, but it sure seems like a really good team has been assembled. Yeah, we're that's that's what we're talking about. Like, um, we we're saying like we are very hopeful, or we're very um, what's the word that I described? I I said I believed in us, um, because I do. Like the the team is really awesome. It's it's really, I find it a little bit um, mind blowing, blowing 
that um, Sean has kind of been able to gather so many amazing people um, to jump on this. It's a bit of a leap of faith kind of thing. I've been like, I've always wanted to work on like a, like EverQuest it was what kind of got me wanting to get into games and stuff. So it's very fitting. Um, I've always wanted to work on a MMO and all that, so. Mind blowing is a good term for it. Uh, reflection on the leadership, for sure. Yeah, I th I think for me it's like Sean is just like a really um uh, like his honesty and stuff he's just like he tells you the truth and you know i don't know that that's what i find that's what i like about him is um you know you can trust him and i think that's that's important like for both us on the team and for you for you guys wanting to uh you know, play the game and all that. Just in general. I think just in general, it's a good thing to be an honest person. Oh, geez. Let's see how this is going to go down. I don't know what I did with these. Um, did I connect the, I guess what I'll, here's what I'll do is, the good thing about do, these particular, this particular set of UVs is I can kind of break the rules more so than I normally would. Because it's just kind of like, um, I'm not, they're not the final ones. It's just to get the, the look. Let's do this. Oh god. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, yeah. Easy peasy. That looks good. I think it's the robot in him. He just says what he's thinking. <laughs> hey, Ridge is filming. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. Um, a little, uh, actually I'm not too tired right now. I'm stuffed full of pizza right now, so I'm, I'm okay. How are you doing? My mic is a little quiet. Oh, um, it's move it closer then how's how's this did i move it back i wonder why that's strange is that better I wonder if I, I messed with any other settings Yeah, let me know if like any of this audio stuff is um you know too loud or too quiet or anything. For me, the music is a little bit loud, but um I have it cranked up a little bit, I think, so. Always makes me think that it's too loud for you guys, but as long as it's fine. Okay, so again, um, just to, as to kind of hey, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello, Nicholas. Teeny Terror. I um I just I left I'm doing like a skeleton stream today, so I, I disabled that um uh, that reward for tonight because it's just been one of those days. Uh, so I apologize, but you get to enjoy the skeleton. Yeah, I need to add some more fun ones. Um, I, I switched last last stream. I had the EverQuest skeleton actually, but I was like, maybe since we have our own skeleton, I should change it. Uh, and when we get like a wolf, I'll do a wolf form and um, probably maybe a tree form or something. Um, just a bunch of stuff, whatever I can think of that that'll be fun. I think there was another one. I was gonna do I was gonna do a pill boy one as well. Hey, stay at home, Brad. Welcome to the stream. Right now, I am working on a little bit of kind of UVs. Um, I have the our human model here, and I'm trying to basically see how these this texture set is kind of all over the place. Um, this is actually not our the correct UV set. Uh, hey, uh, Z Zeb Zebentum Zebentum, how's it going? Nice to see the armored human. Yeah, so let me see if this one. So see how this is like more tightly packed. This is kind of our standard. Um, if I go to this, so you can see this is our UV, how our UVs are. This is how all the textures in the game for the player characters are gonna be. Um, and this allows us to have all the swappable um, textures for all the different armors and stuff. It all needs to be uniform. And so this one that I have right here is obviously different and that's gonna cause problems if I were to apply this to any of the characters in game and stuff. So what I'm doing right now, um, since we actually already have that, that, like that general texture converted, but I have um, this file with all the different layers on it, which, um, I wanted to like see the belt turns on and off and stuff. I wanted to bake all all this all the various layers and stuff so that we have more control. Um it just needs to be converted to the new set basically. And that's that's kind of what I'm going to do right now. Um and then if I have time I'm going to do some animation stuff or I can just show you guys at a later later time. Um so that's that's what I'm working on right now. Uh it's not super glamorous all the time, but Needs to be done, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm I'm so, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, uh, Lada Lada Rain Lada Rain. Do you have a good looking? Oh, you have a good looking skeleton. Thank you. I I appreciate that. We were very. Uh, the skeleton was very important to us. We wanted to make sure it uh, resonated with AQ people. Making games have always fascinated me. Uh, it looks super difficult. Uh, nice, nicely armored human model. Have you finalized the visible pieces yet? Um, the textures have not, I wouldn't say they've been finalized, only kind of the placement of the textures. So like, obviously um, you can see here, this is the chest. Um, and so the, like when you, when you equip any sort of chest piece, this this highlighted section in game is gonna swap out with a different texture. Um, and you, get, you guys have probably seen it uh, in action. Um, sorry, I didn't, don't mean the paint work. I mean, which ones will be visible? Oh, um, I think, I, I don't know if that's been entirely finalized. Obviously, um, for what we have right now, it's, chest legs feet 
Then we have the upper arms. And then we have the bracer and we have two separate bracers. So you can wear a bracer on just one of your arms and it'll show on one, just one of your arms versus EverQuest where you equip a bracer and it shows on both of them. Um, and then we have the gloves, which are, it's, those are mirrored. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if we're gonna do more of that. Maybe the bracer was a test and we're, we'll do more of that. I'm not sure what the plan is there actually. Um, but yeah, so that's what we have right now in terms of visible stuff. And then uh, we're going to do helmets. Um, the helmets are actually going to be geometry. We're going to sort that out. There is actually, um, uh, Sean has that one file with the, the helmet with the spike, the horns on it and stuff. Actually, you know what? Where did I post that? There is, I did, a, I, I put that outfit on the gnome. I can find that maybe it's where did I post that maybe it is in here wow I can't remember where I posted it I I had like thrown the, the helmet on the, the gnome and he had like the that's weird where did I post that anyway oh here it is cool uh I'll, I'll show you guys this little little nugget because it's fun this is um by no means any sort of final thing this was just kind of fun um Oh my God, what the, uh, let's do 200, there we go. Yeah, so this is the gnome model with um, the helmet, the spiked helmet, and I threw like a sword and a shield and a cloak on him. And th again, this is not final by any means, it was just kind of fun, but it was, it was he looked kind of fun with it, so I took a screenshot. Um, this is, this is in Blender. It's not even in game or anything. So, but I think eventually that will be in game. Um, I saw you were turning the belt on and off earlier. Is that something, uh, that could have a graphic? Um, you talking about in here? Um, this guy right here? This, this is just in Photoshop. We have a bunch of layers. Um, I think that's in terms of we're going to have all the different layers so that we can make more armor sets and look, make it look slightly different and stuff. Um, I don't know if you'll be, I don't know how much of that sort of thing will, you'll be able to equip like that. Um, there is some, um, how do I say this? Um, that sort of thing on some level is kind of, I think what there were, there, there is some interest in figuring that out. That's part of the reason why I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Um, Ollie needs uh, some of these different layers baked out on the proper UV set so that he can mess with stuff. Uh, I don't know how much of it is going to be like something that the player can do like taking on and off a, a leather belt like that. They, they see there was some interest in like crazy stuff like that though. So maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't want to put words in. I don't want to like promise anything that Ollie is like, no, don't say that. <laughs> Give him more work. So we'll, I'll, I'll have to wait and see um, a little bit more on some of that stuff, I think. But definitely some of the stuff that's already planned, though, is pretty, pretty cool. Um, just like backpacks, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to actually making some backpacks and stuff.
Okay, so let's see. Uh, this is that's in the general place. What am I missing? The other hand. Actually, you know what? Um, now that I'm looking at this, the hand we have two two separate hands on the texture sheet, which means that we could con already conceivably have. Uh, two different gloves. So that's already kind of set up. And it actually, the entire arm could be... Um, like I can actually show you. Um, if we go to this guy. This one. This one already has, like, this whole arm is different than this one. So that might be, that seemed like a little thing. But asymmetry, you know, it's not in the pants. Well, actually, well, technically it is in the pants um, in, a, in a way. But yeah, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. Um, if you, if you want to do that sort of thing, you have to plan ahead. And it's, it's way easier to just, like, mirror everything and have everything look the same on both sides. Which is why you don't see it too much, because it's just quicker to to do it the other way. Okay. This is a mess. Always a mess to do this stuff. Part of me, for the hands at least, uh, part of me is just like, uh, close enough kind of thing. Are these even the same? Is this a different... No, this is, the hand looks different. The hand is not symmetrical. Uh, whatever, it's because I pulled it off the rig, probably. It's fine. I don't need it to be perfect for this. What other layers do we have, actually? So we have all this leather, which that's just on the chest. Have all of the breastplate section. We have this under layer. And like the, how far the... I can't take, um... I thought there was one where, oh, maybe it's hidden in here. I thought there was one where, like, I could get rid of the plate on the legs or something like that. I don't know. There's not a lot of gear that's, um, there's the chain mail as well. I could do, the ch I could turn off the chain mail. Turn this off. So let's turn off the leather strappies and the emblem some color correction and fixes and things I don't even know what that is there's just like a bunch of layers in here that just do a bunch of stuff um I didn't make this so I'm just like trying to figure out I'm trying to understand it I don't know because I was I was gonna see how 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 stripped down I could get this. But I think a lot of it is baked in already to this. Um, so sounded like there was gonna be more to this. I don't know. Um, but that means that I don't have to worry too much about the arms, maybe because not much. I don't think anything really changed there. Uh, I think actually what I wanted to do, um, I turn off everything. Ornament. Oh. 
there was like this space here I wanted to I just turn off everything I want I wanted to know if I could just bake that that would be interesting I probably don't even need to bake this do I this could be done in Photoshop, I think. Um, let me open. Um, maps, human. So this is the texture meat. Oh shoot, this is already on there though. So I do need to bake stuff. But this is this is what the texture looks like. This is what the armor looks like in game. This is the in game texture map here. Um, and what I wanted to do is get get rid of these bits from it, essentially. So actually, I need to um, turn on everything again. Can I do a. I can't do a shift. Turn on all this and let's turn off all of the ornaments. I apologize for me kind of shuffling through this. So I think this is the probably the most stripped down one. So let me I'm gonna save this one out and then I made a JPEG of this. Um and then since we have I think the arm whoa. Actually I don't like I don't like how the arms wrap around so much like this. That's, I, I was going to try and fix that, I guess. So maybe I, eh, all right, I'll do this. I'll do it for real. Ugh. I was trying to cut corners, but. Um, it won't let me. Yeah, so anyway, I'm just kind of rambling to myself. I apologize. Um, how's everyone else's evening going? It's Wednesday. I don't... Tuesdays are my normal stream days. Um, tonight is kind of... Wednesdays are kind of like a bonus, usually, if I have time or whatnot. And um, I didn't stream yesterday, and I had a bit of time today, so I was like, mm, I could do some stuff today because I was going to work on this anyway. Okay, so if I grab these, grab all of these and just pull this. See what happens. Okay. That looks that looks better. Are these aligned? I don't think that one. UVing is like, um, not glamorous, but there's like a, it's a, there's a real art to it. And I'm not claiming to be super great at it, but, um, it's, it's important.
some of this is going to have to be cleaned up um, afterward, regardless of what I do, unfortunately. I wonder if I can mirror any of this too. That would save some time. And then I would just fix it. Maybe I'll do that. Doing those arms twice is going to be a pain in the butt. I don't think I've actually seen him without the those straps, really. It looks very different without the emblem and the leather. He's missing something. Just like the various layers, it's missing like an element to it. I like the back, but the front, I don't know, maybe we need to remove some layers or something, but. Hey Scribble, how's it going? Shoulders. We're doing a little bit of UV texture, UV and stuff tonight on the stream. That is the current task. I see. Looks nostalgic. Well, that's good. That is definitely the feel, the vibe we're going for. Um, I definitely, um, yeah, messing with UVs and stuff uh, on the EverQuest models and stuff was some nostalgia there. I'll have to, like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of that stuff like the everquest models like in blender and stuff i have some somewhere should probably uh, lock that down Yeah, I worked uh, with the with the gnome. Yeah, the I have the troll. I think um, I I think the troll. I have maybe a couple. Let's see what I have. I probably I have the XR as well. I think. Um. Always very small. And the textures are broken. I, but yeah, this is the troll. I print, I 3D printed this. Um, I made a texture. I guess I didn't troll print. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Maybe this isn't the one. Printable UVs. This one is different. Yeah, I three D I three D printed this one with co with the color. Um, I had to re UV it. It was a pain in the butt. Is uh, I think I cleaned up some of the stuff too, but it's mostly the same.
still have the um I have the zip file actually that I used. So maybe I'll share that or something. Or maybe maybe I can't. I don't know legally and stuff, but maybe we'll find it somewhere. Who knows? Um, you guys can print your own troll or something or not because that would be illegal and stuff. Uh, this needs to be mirrored or locked down. Okay, let's go back to the armor. I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm noodling a bit, which is dangerous. Let's just move this over a little bit and then I think that's probably good. His hand is messed up. Um, is this going the wrong way? No. Yeah, these hands are going to be have to be repainted, I think, because it's just very difficult to preserve any sort of anything on these. I think there's there's going to be some level of like redoing some stuff anyway, so it's probably fine. I'm just trying to like not create more work than is needed or you know do they not have fingers fingers are tough no we're going for the the old everquest theme so you just get you get some stubby fists uh in our game you just stick your your weapons um, in your little meat, meat hands, meat, meat fists here. That is the art style. Classic EverQuest. By design, working as intended, as they say. Is this, this is upside down. No, no finger animations. Cool. Yeah, no, no fingers. Well, the hand will move. Like you can, move, you can move your fist, but we don't have any fingers, so there's no finger animation. Um, I can show you kind of. You guys have kind of, like you, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, it's old EverQuest style and all that. Um. But I can show you kind of what I'm working on, actually. Uh, so this is the human. This is the human rig. I've got a couple animations, or we have a couple animations. Um, so I, I was working on cleaning up the run. Because it was a little popping a little bit and stuff, so. Uh, and then I, I fixed the robe because the robe was really um, large because it was still using the old model as the base. So this is the, the human in the robe, this new run animation. Um, actually, let me do this. Um, so you can see 
like this is the extent of the the hand movement and stuff like it just kind of rotates like the, the meat fist so there's no fingers no finger animations that it's just painted on but um it does all the uh, can move normal and such you know and uh, we the the robe like everquest as well it's going to be a separate piece of geometry so actually the cool thing about that is like one thing i always i didn't like was when you know they your body disappeared underneath under your robe and all you had was like feet connected to nothing so at least right now the way the way we have it in game is um it's just uh, the robe is on top and i hope we keep that i think i think we should we can the only thing is i just need to clean up all these bits that are poking through um and then we'll be good to go but it's pretty good and here's the you guys probably haven't seen too much of the robe um but i don't think anyone's actually seen this this particular one because I, I got the robe texture as well similar to this one how it has all the layers and so this is the robe without any of the frills I actually really like it. Um, I think we need to maybe do some sort of. We need to clean up the transition here. But I like I kind of like the look of it. That it's like it reminds me of the old the the gossamer robe from EverQuest. Yeah, the the clipping is is a big thing. Um, I I hate clipping, and I was I was really trying real hard to. And you know what's crazy is it's just on that one leg. Like the, this other leg um, seems fine. Nothing clipping. It's just this this right leg. So that's something I'm gonna mess with tonight as well if I have time. But I wanted to do this bit here first. All right. So let's say this is. Oh shit. Let's say this is good. Um. Is it good? Let me see. Let's what happens if we do that? What does this look like? How far does this need to go? I in those. Um whoa. Hey, thanks for the follow. Where are the, that's weird. This needs to be here, I guess. Um, yeah, so, yeah, if, if you're not familiar, I don't know if you're familiar with the, our game or not, um, our, our game is called Monsters and Memories, it's like a, it's an, we're, it's like an indie MMO, we're kind of inspired by, or we're, um, you know, kind of trying to do, recreate that sort of classic MMO feel with our game. Um. I kind of assume most people are here from our community. So I don't know if anybody out there is not. Um, but yeah, so let me know if you guys are, have any questions. If you're unfamiliar with our game and stuff, I can happily fill you in. Um, Maybe I'll even we can jump in in the game and stuff later. Uh, I'm just trying to like, I would do it now, so that'd be more relaxing. But I also want to get some need to get some stuff done. You know, I got to finish the game. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a game to play. I want to play the game too, so.
Oh, that looks different. Why is this different all of a sudden? This thumb is huge now. Actually, let's undo that and then I'll just move. Oh, that looks weird, man. It's probably fine. This this doesn't need to be perfect, I think. Okay, that's oh, that hand sucks though, but uh It was better the way I had it before or something, so. Have you guys been playing any, any cool games lately or anything? You guys on that Elden Ring bandwagon? Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Except for this bit. First, I guess that's how it is. I don't know this. Let's move this all down, maybe. Slay the Spire has been my go-to. Started Waywatch Wood too. I I a lot of people have um said they really liked Slay the Spire. And I got it um because because of like just recommendation and stuff like that. Um maybe I'm just like not super into card games and stuff though, because I like it wasn't bad. I just I don't know, I, I didn't it didn't grip me. But maybe it's just me being more of a visual person and not being super into card games and stuff, but like it was, it was just okay for me. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Brawler Kick, my going retro. I haven't played that one. That sounds fun. It's, it's a, a classic arcade fighter, I assume, I'm presuming. Or is that one of the... There's this one... Oh, this is one old game. What was it? I don't remember what it was called. It was like... Maybe it was Double... It was like... It's, I don't know if it was Double Dragon or it was just a game like Dub, Double Dragon where you're just kind of like going down the streets fighting dudes. Um, that was... Yeah, I don't think it was Double Dragon because it was it was a three D game, not a not a two D. But those games are fun. I would I haven't played one of those in a while. That would be fun to fun fun to do. I I haven't even heard of way. Uh, which which would is which would another card game? Because I, I maybe I would wouldn't be super into it then. I I don't I'm pretty out of touch. I feel like with um. The current current ones or something because I don't know there's I know there's Elden Ring and stuff and uh, New World all those fancy ones but it's not my cup of tea really lots of beat-em-up action for me yeah like it just a, like a, a 
general like just dumb beat em up um game that sounds like fun right now honestly that that sounds like a fun thing to just kind of play especially with friends if i had friends need to need to find some friends first then do that i guess Now, which would isn't a card game it's a laid black laid back do a bunch of tasks and craft stuff game <laughs> friends not included nice got one friend it's the twitch the friend finder it's the the reason i stream is because i have no friends That looks a bit better than the the one that's on there now. I think. Um, just trying to even it out. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. It's fine. I I gotta stop looking at the hand, otherwise I'll just look look at it all night and stuff. So. Um. This. Um, I'm gonna leave that. That's probably fairly straight, honestly, for the crazy angle it's at. Okay. Um, anything else? Maybe we can fix the legs here. Uh, I feel like maybe I have seen Witchwood. Um images oh i definitely have not seen this but this looks really cool that's so that's a really good art style that's that, the art is really amazing in that that kind of reminds me of uh mages of mysteria or Whatever it's called, it's like this little, um, it's almost like Diablo, kind of Diablo-esque in a way. You play this mage, that you, you make your own spells and stuff. It's pretty fun. I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't, I haven't beat it yet or anything. Because it's actually, it got a little bit hard. Oh, damn. Is this going to be... It's going to be weird. I don't know if I can, I can straighten those. Maybe I need to do this. Uh, maybe it's because I don't have enough um, edges to play with there. There we go. That's not too bad. Okay, I think this is ready to bake. So here's the deal. Um, now that you guys have all left chat because this is extremely boring, um, this is actually where the magic happens. So now that I have... I have reconstructed the layout I want it to look like um, on the new, I've, I've basically reconstructed the UVs um, 
on this old set so that I can bake it to the new set. And I did this before, obviously, because that's how the I got the other set. But uh, I do not find this boring. That's good. Um, at least I got one person, so I'm not talking to myself. Um, I, were you here, um, Adjective Beaver, the last time I did this? Um, cause I, I did this before, cause that's how we got the, the textures that we have right now. Um, but so what we're doing, what the, I think it was here for the last stream. Yeah. Yeah. So you kind of get the, the gist maybe of what, what's happening. Um, but I'll explain it anyway for the crowd. Because I need, I need to say words. Otherwise, um, it's no fun. Um, nope, not that one. Oh, maybe not. Um... You were animating the gnome last time. Last time I was here, anyway. Yeah, that. So the last, the last time I did this was actually a couple streams ago. It was a couple weeks ago or something. Um, what? I guess these need to be okay. Yeah. So. Um, what's happening is I have two UV sets. So if you look um, here, if we switch back, the UVs, it's basically like two, um, pre two presets. So the UVs are set up this way. Oh, shit. I need to fix these ones now. Oh, shit. Um, I didn't think about that when I married stuff. That's troublesome. Okay, so I need to fix this. Um, but basically, I have two presets, and I want to I want to get the texture. The texture is only made for one of the presets, and I want to I want to get it made for the other the other preset. So I have to do this whole rigmarole. Um, what? Oh shit! What happened to this? Interesting. Interesting. I fucked that up somehow. Um, I don't know if this is going to look right now. It's very... Oh, he's got a hole in his butt. Okay, well... That's not going to help me. You're not supposed to have a hole in your butt, dude. What the fudge? It's, it's hard to get help, good help these days, you know? Um, all I, like, all I asked is that you don't have a hole in your butt when you come to work. You know? Actually, I guess everyone comes to work with a hole in their butt, so that's kind of a... Oh, what, what is happening here? What is happening here? Friends. But I needed that hole. <laughs> Emergency. Too fat. Uh, so this, I was not as prepared as I thought I was to go to step two. Hi guys. Ugh. How's it going, Sean? Art director Sean, come come by to tell me 
that this is, oh, I need to fix this one too. There we go. Those art directors just popping in, popping out. Hey, Nick. How you doing, man? Uh, I thought I had these up here. So somehow I messed up. But I also like, I kind of like, I don't know, it looks, doesn't look that much different, honestly. I don't know, it looks, it looks better somehow like this, but that's fine. I'll just move it up here. Um, I, I think, I'm sure you've been lurking here for a while, Nick. But I'm doing the, I'm baking some, some of the, the layers from the, the, f um, Photoshop file from, you know, so we can get like the different versions of the armor and stuff like. This one doesn't have the, the straps or the emblem. And I think there's some there's some weirdness that I'm noticing now that I have them side by side that I'm going to fix as well. So it should be a little bit better looking maybe. Still needs to be cleaned up though. It's a good thing we didn't spend much time cleaning this one up because it would have been kind of wiped out. Um, which is why you don't do texture work like you don't spend a shit ton of time on texture work uh when you're not like ready to, you know when it's not finalized and stuff so you're just gonna be real sad Sort of like done drinking code. Um, yeah, the same. I mean, I I can Im only imagine the the sadness that would occur from that. So I can't say it's a direct comparison, but you're definitely going to be sad. I imagine if you drink in code. Uh, what, what am I looking at here? This one, this one. I've created lots of work for future me by doing that. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. Okay, so the cool thing about this though is since I'm, I I might remind someone remind me to save this thing so that I can we can do more bakes in the future, because um, I already set this up once and I didn't I don't think I I didn't save it, so I had to do this all over again, and uh, it's probably gonna be probably gonna have to do it again at some point in the future. But yeah, you're right. I'll just save it now. It's probably a smart decision. Um. Oh shit. Okay. And, and circling back to previous comments, maybe by myself. 
I don't drink while working. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if this is supposed to swing up or not. Um, actually, it definitely. Do we have any reference of? Uh, let's do. Let's go to our beautiful website and look at our images. If we go to the original halt. It does swing up a bit here, so I probably want to do that. This actually, this armor looks different. It doesn't even have the... I don't think there are any shots of it from behind, though. Oh, it, it does, but it has the... It's obscured. Wait, is this even on, right? Is that the... That looks different. That's weird. This this texture looks slightly different to me. Some I don't know, but can I can I turn that stuff off even? Uh, okay, that's what it is. It's just this one. I don't even have that. I didn't turn that one off in this one, so that's one more thing I need to do. I need to save this one again. Good catch, chat. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Wink, wink. Nice. <laughs> I appreciate you. So actually, I want to move these. Let's grab this one. Um, I want to move these down then, I think. Um, uh, let's just, let's just do this. Let's go boom like that. I was trying to counteract that. Why does that look weird? Oh, because of this thing. I need to get rid of these middle ones here that are pinned down. Make them look normal. I think they're the belt, like I was trying, I don't know. I should load the other one now too, huh? I guess this other one has a belt. If I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. So if I were to do this, you guys would be horrified. This is the beast, the beast master armor right here, by the way, it's just nothing, but not, it doesn't even have a butt crack. This butt cracks it's like on the wrong cheek there. It's just, yeah. Okay. Um, ah, oh shit, this isn't even. Am I going to have to redo this for the armor too? Maybe. Ah, oh, damn. Mm. So this actually doesn't help me. I'm um, switching this one. So that's... I'm just going to assume that there's a... that That's the belt line. Yeah, that's, that's where it was in the screenshot. Ah. Uh. Um, probably not going to get through all of this tonight. Um, and I think what I'm, what I want to do is I'm going to get this to a certain point, like kind of a good stopping point. Let's say fix some of this stuff. And then, um, you know what I'm going to do is I want to throw the, the animation I did in to engine. And then you guys can kind of see how that goes and that sort of thing. That sounds like fun. Ah, oh, 
this isn't lined up very well either. Uh, let's go sideways. Let's undo that. Just make it look good. I guess I can make this flat now. Seamless. Actually, it's not entirely seamless, but we're going to pretend it is because reasons. Why isn't that? What's wrong with that? That's... It's interesting. Why do you do this? Whatever. It doesn't, it's not going to be. It's because of these. It's fine. Back. There you go, seamless. Ah, uh, first try. Okay, so this guy, um, that is good. This is how I want it. And I needed to fix this one in order to bake. Oh, you know what? Oh, dude, look at this. That looks really cool, actually. That's like a mistake, but this looks really cool. We should. Like, I'm gonna screenshot that or something. That's a cool happy accident. I like that how that looks. Um, where's Slack? Um, yeah, that's, that looks really cool. Except for his hands, his feet or whatever, but it's fine. Okay. Um, do I, I don't, I don't think I'm going to, I want to bake stuff tonight. I'll do it later. Um, so this way, oh, I should save this too. Okay. I dig this character's uh, winter boots. Yeah. He's, he'll blend in with the, the stuff. Yeah, this, this turn, this is a weird happy accident. It looks really cool. Kind of, that's a good foundation for actual armor. Like this could be like a, a death knight or, or a shadow knight um, breastplate or something, in my opinion. But okay, so let's let's save this, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to we're gonna switch gears. I'm gonna open up the animation thing, and then what I want to do is delete this and then I'm going to I'm going to throw the, this new run animation I ha I've done 
when I can find it. Action. Run. So this needs to go in in, in the game. This is uh, this is like the new the new one. I was gonna throw it in and see how it looks. So what I want to do is um, let's go to T pose. Okay, I'm gonna close Photoshop. Don't need that right now. And then I'm gonna open. Uh, Unity. Oh, I've got to import stuff. Is there any, any new things that I missed today, 6 p.m.? Uh, maybe I should update that stuff. It's like you're probably fine. Um, okay. So let's go to our human. Show and explore. Okay. Just getting set up here to do this. Um. This one, this one. Interesting, that looks different. Okay. Okay, okay. So, I think if I just grab this, these ones here, this is all I need. So let's go ahead and export this, and then we're going to stuff this in Unity. And then we'll see how it looks. Human male. And then I just copy paste it into the location. Simple as that. Let's see. Um, I probably won't get around to obviously not tonight. Um, but the casting animation, if we look at this, does we even have a cat? We don't have a casting animation at all, actually. That I'm running it, looking at it. Um, oh shit. So, yeah, casting animation. Um, what do you guys think about that? You have um, any suggestions on how that should look and stuff? And also, if Nick, you're still in chat, um, do you? I think I guess we're probably gonna have like a, a casting, an animation for the duration of the cast, and then there's like a separate animation that's like the completion of the the cast. Um, or are we gonna have like the the EverQuest style where you just kind of stand there and particles are coming out of your hands? And then you complete the cast, and then you do the animation. Um, I think right now we have we have uh, a, a casting animation for the duration and a finish for it. At least that's what the ogre has. So, um, okay, this looks. I think it's just good to go. Let's see. The wacky waving inflatable arm tube man animation, please. Dude, I'll do that. Don't don't put don't put thoughts in my head, and then expect me to be like, no, it's fine. Also, no to my previous suggestion. <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't read that one. I ah, uh, is this? Yeah, I think this is. The new one. The arm is still popping, but I think um, if we go back to the 
this guy. Oh shit, actually I wanted the other one. Damn. I think if I just chop off one of the frames. Can I see it in here? Yeah, so it's like when when it resets, it it let's actually go to this one, see how that one does it. That looks better. I don't know if I like that though, now that I'm seeing it in game. Let's apply that. Um Nick isn't isn't here, I guess. But I think based off of the ogre, it's probably gonna be the latter or the former or whichever one was the option I was I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, his I don't know, he looks kinda goofy with he needs to be leaning forward more, I think. Um but Oh, what's happening there? Um, it's more colorful undies. Yeah. And cast animation too. I gotta do that. So right now he just does like this weird bleh kind of thing. Oh, his, he just breaks his, his knees just break. He's just like, oh man. So that's not great. Um, that's also the animation he does when it gets hit, I think. So we just, this just needs a, human just needs a lot of stuff right now. But the, the, particular one I was looking at right now was the run and I don't think this is doing it for us. Where's my cleric? Human cleric. Seriously though, pretty slick you can quickly get something in game and test it out. Oh, I didn't, I want to do the robe too. But yeah, like it's it's pretty nice. Oh, that's interesting that um it seems like it's going along with the the same rig. I wonder if I need to even do anything to that. Let's see, let's let's export this robe too. But yeah, it's it's super it's super awesome that I can just like um just copy paste it into the directory and it updates it and then I'm like in game like messing with stuff. It's really nice. I love it when programs auto update when you like update stuff that it's looking at, like textures and and models and stuff. Wonder if that. Oh, there it goes. My cleric. My cleric is the one with the robe for some reason. I've been wanting to set up a world for the wife and I to play in in Unity, but networking is a can of worms I've yet to open. Does that look better? I, I can't even tell if it, I guess it does. It looks, yeah. I can't actually I'm gonna find a place where I can look up my skirt. <laughs> look at that. Uh, look at this loser who's he's not wearing pants. Okay, yes, yeah, clipping some, some there. I don't see it clipping through the legs though. 
Um, so that's good. Maybe I don't need to fudge with stuff too much. Um, oh. Um, do I have a shield? Search. Yeah, so that might need some adjustment. Um, I don't know how to fix that, honestly. Um, yeah, networking. I like. I'm not a coder, so I don't know. But that just sounds difficult. Um, I honestly like. I don't know how Ollie did it. It's. He's a smart man. Is that a shield or a pallet for oiling paints? <laughs> right now, um, it's a pallet but it's supposed to be a shield. I think I think it's just funny that I like my my outfit right now. I got those um let's put my legs back on. Got them golden afridi shoes, boots. You paint with the hammer? Yeah. I paint with the blood of my enemies. That's what I do. The hammer also has like a hole in it right here, which I need to fix. Oh, look at that. Got my little, got my arms out. I'm ready for the ladies. I'm armed. I'm dual wielding over here. One functionality that I hope. Oh, there it goes. I guess, yeah. Never mind. Um. So there's some like weird. There's some a bit of pointy. Verts, sort of. I'd maybe like to clean up. Oh yeah, I think the robe looks a bit better. The run animation is no bueno though. So I need to do another iteration on that, I guess, but maybe I'll, I'll just, I'll push this version anyway, because it's still better than the other one that's in there right now. It's, it's a bit, um, the elbows are popping a bit and stuff. So can the robe stay flowing down while running? Um, I think right now it's just mimicking the, the animation of the, the rig that the human has. Um, so that's, that's why it's like kind of tucking in where the, where the legs are, you know, and they're like, it's not perfect right now, the way it is, um, cause the weight. The weights need to be fiddled with some if we go to the run. Like this, this is, this is not correct. This needs to be fixed. Um, so that's, this isn't entirely like, it's not done yet. Um, so I, I just like working in kind of iteration. You can see right here, this is clipping, it's clipping through itself. It's not supposed to do that. And I just need to work more on the weight paints to smooth stuff out. But in terms of getting it to flow, like, I, I think I know what you're talking about, where instead of like hugging the back of the leg, you want it to kind of like, f like fall back. And I think in order to do that, it might actually require its own rig. And that's something that we'll have to look at because I'm down for that. Like I I'm, I'm a, a robe wearing person player typically. So I think that that's something that's going to be important to me. Um, and I don't really like how it looks right now, but again, it's like an iteration, it's an iterative process. So 
this is iteratively better than it was, but it's still not where we want it. So, or at least not where I'm, I'd like it to be. Um, so we'll, um, I'll probably push it and then we'll see what the team thinks. And I need to talk to Ollie about how we would actually get the robe to flow like that. Cause that's, that's probably something that maybe he would need to take a look at possibly. Or I'll just have to like just try something. Um, I actually need to I need to ask him about like how it actually works um, with the the robe um, Oh, well, you're not gonna help me, bro. There you go. With with the way the robe works, um it it might be a thing. I don't know. I need to talk to him about it. Iterative for sure. It has been a treat to watch the game progress. Yeah, it's it's been a treat to to show you guys. It's always fun to share the cool stuff. Oh, look at that sunset. Oh, I don't know how to make this larger. The this the way Sean has his set up is like he's got like full screen or maybe he just zooms in or something, but um let's do this. It's very very zoomed in though. Oh my goodness. I've ruined everything. What? There, that's kind of about the size of stuff, I guess. I need to get my light, get rid of my, my painting palette and get my torch out because it's dark. But yeah, so that's kind of, that's kind of how that works. Um, you know, you just kind of do a little bit of work and then you save it and then you throw it to the engine. Um, but yeah, so this run, I think I need to change some stuff. I need to get it to, I need him to bend over more, pump, pump. Um, so let's do a little bit of, actually, let me, first of all, let's kill this. Cause that's, and you guys probably need to actually see what I'm doing again. Cause I am out of that screen. Um, Uh, that's the the danger of zooming in. I forget that I'm zoomed in and then you guys miss stuff. So, uh, okay. So let's see, let's go run. Let's do go into pose mode. And then I'm probably just going to, I wonder if I could just r roll forward on everything. Will that do it? No, that's going to make him look goofy as well. I think he needs to bend at the... Well, now I've started it, so... Where does he need to bend to make it look normal? Like right? How do How do humans move is my question now. The question of the night. How do you human? I have forgotten. I I am not a human. I'm a robot. It's a requirement um, to be on the team. You have to be a robot. It's a secret that Sean doesn't like to talk about, but it's the truth. I'm outing outing everybody now. Oh, 
Oh, what the heck is going on here, buddy? You gotta lean forward. You look ridiculous. Okay. And then if we grab this one, I need to copy this. Is this... Oh shit, what's going on here? Friends? How? Um... Okay, let's move you over, and then let's... Paste. Um, uh, wait, what's going on? Copy. Paste. Okay. Need to get a mirror set up and next to your desk. No, no, man. We don't, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> that, that, that looks a little bit better. Leaning forward a bit, I think. Um. Let's, let's, let's try that and just see, I guess. Oh, you know. Um, let's go to... Okay, let's export this again. It's just the same thing. Copy. Paste. And then if we go here, let's do the run. Probably need to chop off that one frame again. Let's, let's do, oh, it's already set to that. Okay, awesome. Oh. I need to I want to check that that robe too cuz I wonder if I guess it if it didn't have the same rig then it wouldn't have changed when I changed the run. That's the one benefit to having the robe set up on the the rig that you're using for the character is I guess it, it um Um, that looks better, I think. I think that looks pretty good. I guess. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is that a, is that a reasonable run animation? I think maybe the weirdness may lie in the model itself still, because we were talking about how the, the human model looks... Like it's um, a bit off or something still. Oh, he's so fast. From behind it looks great. The side view looks a bit off though. Yeah. Um, also his, his arms are, uh, is that doing that in this? Cause I don't remember seeing that in this. Um, am I just not seeing it? Oh, I guess it does do that. That's. Uh, that's, that's a weight paint thing. Is it? Oh. Let's see. Um, actually, hang on, let me. Add, let's add. Hmm. 
that better have mirrored stroke symmetry okay oh come on man did that uh, okay maybe it did um let me just add to this guy uh and we'll subtract from here as well Blah. So, uh, it's a little bit better, I guess. It's, it's an improvement, I guess. I'll, I'll have to play with that some more, I guess, as well. It's, it just, there's just like a lot of stuff that needs, um, you know, tweaking and stuff. So, that's, that's why I like to work in an iterative, iterative thing, because like, you can't get everything in one in one go anyway. Um, but yeah, so so the run animation. What do you think? It looks weird. Is it? Um, he's not. What looks off? Actually, let's do this. Maybe it's the hop off the ground. Yeah, like the bouncing. Hmm. That was kind of the hardest part me just figuring getting the hop right doesn't look like it it's going with the there's a bit of a delay there i guess when it comes up i'm not qualified to answer this question me neither Dude, me neither, man. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not an animator. I think it looks good, and any issues adds to the retro style, I guess. Yeah, that's. Um. Bounce. Where's the bounce? Okay. Yeah. This this needs to move over, I guess. Um, this needs to go here. Looks like he's bouncing, like, not symmetrically or something. Oh, that, this doesn't, also, is that even going the same height? Where's the high? Let's go on. Looks different though. Hey, Whitechapel. I loved when bards would get kind of stuck in their funny run animation and bob instead of the side while running. I guess I don't know that. That really bugged the hell out of me. That like broken animation thing. Especially on the troll, it looked 
it kind of it, like it looked goofy and funny, but also at the same time, like, oh man. I feel like he holds. He holds this too long. It's like a couple frames. So maybe if I move this. It's not this one, it's this one. That looks that looks a little bit better. It's crazy how like moving a keyframe like Two increments to the left makes such a big difference. This is what this is why animation is insane to me. So, like, it seems like it's it'd be fun. Like animation could be fun, but then when you're actually doing it, dude, man, it's it's not fun. <laughs> like the results are always fun, but like the actual work, it's just like I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not an animator though. Like, so I guess if I did it more, I would, I would be better at it. And then it would be more fun perhaps, but, and I, I do want to do it more just right now. I'm, I'm at the stage where it's like, uh, you know, you know, when you suck at something and you're like, fuck, but I think this, this looks okay. Let's go with this. Let's put this in and see how it feels. Um, let's kill this because that's gonna cause problems. Oh shit, what are we clicking on here? Okay, let's go to this, this. Export to FBX human mail. Export. Copy. Paste. Let it load and then let's just double check. Can I see what rig animation this is? It's the same one. Yeah. Um, okay, so the run it's still set to the Oh wait, no, I didn't change it. That didn't change it. Did it want it on one? Or is it just everything else? Let's see. Okay, let's do Oh, let's we got some popping going on, friends. Okay. All right, I'm uh, done sitting in at the computer for the evening. I'll you have I'll have a good evening. See ya, um, adjective beaver. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate I, pre I appreciate you. And I'll see you next stream, hopefully. Um, let's see. Maybe it's when it loops. Just seems. <coughs> Oi. Just seems like it's off uh, when it's playing wind. Oh, I'm oh, gotcha. Oh, I might, I may be thinking of a different um, run bug animation than you are um, retro. But I think in general, um, there is like some there's some weirdness that happens sometimes. I think the Bard, like the Bard one when he's playing instruments, that's probably kind of fun. But like, I don't know if you've ever played a troll that, and then when he glitches out like that. Oh, he's not. I feel like I'm not really bouncing at all right now. It looks different all of a sudden. It's weird. Uh, I trimmed too much off, I guess. Hey, Pattis. How's it going, man? Working on a little bit of run animation right now, trying to get this 
Yeah, I, I, tr I did something to this. It doesn't look right. Swing, swing. Run. Let's go back to... And then we'll do... What, what is this at right now? 1 to 23. So let's do that. That does not look like the same animation you were just playing. Yeah, isn't that weird? That's that's why you got to go back and forth and test stuff in um, the engine. My phone didn't give me any notification. Dude, I posted it in chat the chat channels and everything in both discords. That's on you, man. That's on you. I did all I could. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'll send you a text next time. Or something. Looks like the old one's still in game. Um. Well, it's because I. Uh, he's like, yeah. I trimmed like a a frame off. Um. I don't know, man. It's like, um, let's just do, let's just do this. Run zero to 24. Let's just see what that looks like. Also love the new Skelly Illusion. Thanks, man. Yeah, it looks, it's higher quality because I have the source material. So I just did like a, a sweet render. I just had the same setup. Um, just swapped out the, the texture. I'm much happier with this one. It's way better. And I, if I do my, my close up, you can, you can see how beautiful I look in high def and everything. Okay, let's see what's going on here. That looks, that looks okay. Other than arm popping, which I need to figure out. What's, what's really annoying is some of these issues don't show up really in Blender sometimes. Unless you, unless you turn off all the stuff, I guess. Let's see. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it's popping here, which is crazy. Going to be placing skelly parts all over uh, worm Spain. Looks like you lost weight. Man, I wish. I've been putting on weight. I need to start working out again. I guess I don't understand the process well enough. The animation in Blender looks different than the in-game one. The one in-game is the one from weeks ago to me. Really? No, it, it looks... There, I, I could... Um... It's definitely different. I'm doing some subtle changes, but if I did something more drastic, you'd probably notice. Here, let's do some... Let's do some stuff to this here. Um. Oh damn, it's the wrong one. Um, motion paths. Clear.
It doesn't look like it's going anywhere, so it doesn't make sense that that pops. I think sometimes the it, the process of importing can cause issues, I guess, like when I just copy paste. I think if I if I were to delete the one that's in there and then import a new asset, it might look a little bit better. Um, the shoulder could probably use a uh, subtle ro rotation as the arm sway along the spine axis. Um, let's see. Let's put these in front here. Oh yeah, I don't have any animations in those. Oh, you know what? I had, there's a bus, bunch of stuff here that doesn't have keyframes on that last frame. I wonder if that's, that might be causing some popping. Let's do this. Let's find everything that has this, move it over. What looks different is that in game one has missing frames. Arms don't come up all the way. Well, the, in the, the, the one from weeks ago, the arms um, don't come up even this far, I think. Here, well, let's do this. Um, Let's mess with some stuff. Okay, and then so we want some arm, some rotation here. Oops. So clean. And then 24 is going to be the same. Okay, so there's some 
pretty clear. Rotation there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is pause this. Um, object mode, we'll go back to T pose. Save this, and then let's go back to the run. Actually, let's not do that. Let's do idle. Um, uh, I guess I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck with that actually. Pettis is right, the shoulder looks good. Yeah, that helps for sure. Yeah, that, that helped a lot. I didn't realize I hadn't done that. I thought I'd, I rotated the chest. I, I, should, I didn't do the sh shoulder, so. That actually made a huge difference. I think the arms should probably come up higher though. But I'm also trying not to the problem is when you're holding weapons, you don't want to stab yourself in the face. Um, let's try this one, I guess. Let's just see what, what happens. Clear. Depose. Okay, but before that, let's just, I need a sanity check because you're, you're making me wonder now, Retro, if I, I want to, let's look at the shoulders in game right now before we change it and just make sure that stuff is actually getting changed. Actually, that's not going to, let's do this. Get out of here, skeleton. Okay, yeah, so the, the shoulders are not moving right now. It's pretty static. That was that was definitely a, a big big thing there, changing that. Okay, so now let's let me export this. And we'll, we'll check again the shoulders. Um, copy, paste. Importing. Uh, run. Okay, let's just go with this. Okay. Okay, now the shoulders are moving. So we can confirm that the changes we're doing are actually getting in there. Yeah, that the, the shoulder made a lot of difference. That looks... Let's see what it looks like with... Um... Oh, this is my necromancer. Shit. Um, I need my cleric, maybe. Someone who can wear leather. Um, is this, uh, 
Does anybody get um, dual wield, like really low level? I need, I wanted to see what it looks like when you're holding two weapons. I think maybe that hip rotation is too much. I don't know, it's definitely moving the texture a lot. I don't know if that's a big deal. Maybe it's not doing it enough. I think it's looking better now. Yeah, that I think the the shoulder rotation made a huge difference. Um, that head bob is it's kind of out of sync or something though. Who knew that run animations was so difficult? Hmm. Oh no. There's a reason I only animate if I have to. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not wrong.
Let's see. There's a reason I only animate it when I have to. That's it. Throw it all out and get Sean to buy a motion capture studio. I look forward to the dog with the balls on it animating tame pets. The knees probably need to extend a bit more forward on the step. I actually have access to mocap at work. It's just never set up and I don't know how to use it. <laughs> well, the problem with, I've actually done some, like in college, we did a, a mocap class and stuff. And like, there's still a fair bit of cleanup and stuff that you have to do. Like, it's not just like a one-to-one, -one, you know? So we'd be animating stuff anyway. Um, okay, so let's see. The knees. I think VG did mocap. I do prefer the handcrafted animation. I don't know if VG did mocap. I have to double check. Knees need to come forward. Extend a bit more forward. Um. Ooh. On the step, right here. Which which part are you talking about? That needs to extend more. Frame four or frame eight. And the leg is forward like this one or frame zero. I don't know how to make it go like the knee has to go. Are you talking about like the foot needs to go forward like this? Or the knee has to go forward and I need to bring the foot back. Or I should just go like this. <laughs> no, the knee needs, needs to move forward. It's, um, both, oh, are you talking about the lower leg, I guess? This one, I think this is what you mean, like this. Oh, wait, are you talking about this needs to be 90 degrees? Not the front one. Okay. Like this. Oops. Oh, I can't, I can't do that. These are, oh, I can't, these are the same. Yeah, at least. Um, these front legs are not looking good. I need to move this. i move the hands up more too, I think. Let's just try it anyway and see. Uh, let's 
Let's see, preference. Oh. Let's see. What illustrates what I mean? Okay, so let's see. Uh, so this is a little bit farther back, and then this needs to go. Let's, um, yeah, okay, that is, I guess. I guess that is the one. What the hell happened here? like to look at it at a faster pace as well sometimes. Um to find thing. His leg look his legs look really long. Uh, Hattis's skill at text-based communication went up three. <laughs> Imagine if you had to teach your classes through, like, Twitch chat. Quit your job in, a, in an instant there. I have top view discord. Well, like, is that just like, um, giving feedback and helping with little stuff? Or is that like doing a whole class? Mostly voice in streaming, but the whole class. Yeah, that. That's the I don't know. That's like you're like a raid leader almost at that point. How far can I do this? Let's see. I'm going to like push this to an extreme because I just want to see. Actually, that looks pretty cool. I like that. I don't know. What do you think? Is that too much? That looks more real, honestly, to me, because you, you generally when you're running, you'd probably kind of like kick your butt a little bit. That's. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. I want to I want to see that in game. Let's let's do that one and see. Um T pose. Uh Export human mail.
Frequently in animation, you actually break the constraint extremes to sell the emotion for like a frame. Yeah, the, that's that's something I am not trained to do yet because I'm not an animator. But I I totally understand. Like intellectually, I understand that that happens. But I guess when I'm as I'm doing this, I'm like, oh no, I got to make sure it looks like like this is how if the human body moves in real life. But um, that's really what what's more important is how it actually looks like from the player standpoint and stuff so uh, that's something i need to remind myself i guess sometimes why is it always nighttime Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> he doesn't like that one. He's a cowboy now. Yeehaw. Where's my pony? Oh no. Um, that's problematic. And yeah, that's, that doesn't look the same. Oh, well, can I, why is that being difficult? I kind of want to undo everything we just did. Well, not everything, but I want to go back to the previous one I had. <laughs> Does the rig let you... Point the knee. Yeah, it does. And yeah, we got we got knee pointers here. Um, let's. I guess let's check. It looked fine in the the thing. So I don't get why it's being weird. A little closer. Um, where'd the other one go? They're both right here. Um, oh, wait, no, that's, is that good? Closer or farther? They were super open for their looking in game. But it doesn't look like that way in Blender. Yeah. So I'm wondering So when when I copy and just override the FBX in there, I sometimes wonder if like if I ch were to change something with the rig, is it gonna update that properly? Um if because if there's something weird with some of the IK bits. I, mean, I sometimes wonder if it's not it didn't update properly or something when I change things. Export. Actually, let me do something real quick with this those knees. Oh no. 
broke his legs. I have issues with that. I have to delete the mesh and close Unity and then re-import sometimes. I don't have to worry about scripts breaking down like the static meshes. Rip halts ALC. <laughs> yeah, I, with the with the ogre, I think I deleted. Was it the ogre? It was some what something. Is either the ogre or the the skeleton. I I straight up deleted it and reimported it um, to fix the animation thing. I think it was the ogre. And I might I might just do that with this guy honestly if that's if it's gonna keep being a problem. Just at least try it. I don't have to push any of this stuff if it's if it breaks breaks everything. Okay, let's try this again. Um, and I'm starting to fade. So I guess in 20 minutes I'll I'm, I'm probably gonna call it a night, regardless of where we are with this. I was kind of hoping I could get this to a decent spot and then push it. I may just push whatever I have because it's not like, oh shit. I don't know if having it open like that breaks stuff when I do that either. Like specifically for animation and stuff. Log in, please. There we go. Cleric. Okay. Let's see. Nope, it's still fudged up. Um, I wonder if that is caught, it's having. Oh, this dude's having a rough, rough day. He looks like he's got to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. Arbor, look out. There's no bathroom here. Oh, he's going. We, sh we should give him some privacy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Pattis, since you're the environment guy, you're going to have to clean that up. He left a, left a thing there. Present. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. Um, it's just the legs are messed up right now. I need to undo what I did. I think, I think that push bringing them up too too high like that was a bad idea. Um, so let's let's fix that. Um, so let's just bring these down. Oh fuck, what did I just do? Um fucked up. Oh, what did I do? 
Did it break something? Uh, good thing I'm nuking that Geo. The legs in game aren't going forward though. Uh, they were still bent. Um, I thought I thought because I pushed the legs, the foot up so high that it was gonna t cause problems with the the knee pole. Because it seemed like it was fine up until I did that one thing. So I don't know. We'll see if this did anything. I guess. I think either way, I'm I'm gonna have to deal with it tomorrow or later. Uh, it's still kind of doing it. Oh, fuck. He looks thinner, too. Am I crazy? No. I guess it, it kind of looks... He just looks different in-game. It's weird. Um... I um I did another version of Holt actually. I can't I can't slap him on this rig though. Cause he's slightly different and I already tried it and it broke stuff. Um this is driving me crazy at this point. Alright, I'm gonna try one last thing and then I'm gonna go to bed. Human mail. Copy. Paste. Let's just take a look at this run. I don't think it was doing it um, in the preview there. I th it might be, it might have been a problem with the um the run or the the movement transitions like the with the strafe and stuff it's, it's already looking weird uh when i try to strafe I, I think i need to adjust that as well oh fuck okay well i don't know man i'm gonna i'm gonna have to deal with this tomorrow i'm tired but you can see when he strafes he's doing something weird um, let's see, um, prefabs, animator, blend tree, uh, okay. Three. Negative three. Pulse all messed up, dude. Anyway, so I'm going to save this, close that, and uh, close this. Yeah. He just he's got a weird thing now. He's a cowboy. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to I'll I I'll just like delete him and, and redo it or something and we'll see. But yeah, so 
Um, that's going to be it for me tonight, I think. Um, thanks again for anybody who's still out there watching. Um, I know I stream kind of late for maybe some people. I don't know, for me. Um, but yeah. So our game again is Monsters and Memories. Um, and you can take a look at us at monstersandmemories.com if you want to, if you don't know. Um, and uh, other members of the team are stream on Twitch as well. Uh, so if you want to see other aspects of our game, you can. Um, you can watch their streams. So, and I linked it in chat which you won't be able to see if you're watching this on YouTube. But yeah, anyway, so um, I'm off. Um, thanks again, and I'll catch you guys next time.